Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is part two of Chasing the Apex Predator. Uh, we're into the second week of the contest here, and I am at 600 shards. I got 307 shards this week, 293 the first week, so I'm at a total of 600. Uh, this week, uh, Faction Max the Blitz, that was worth 60. I uh, picked up 50 from the Faction Month-Long Contest milestones that we hit this week. Uh, Coin 3 was worth 24 shards. TP2 was worth 75 shards. Uh, Coin 2 was 21 shards. I have four bags I still haven't opened. Um, people ask me this week why I haven't opened them. And uh, the real reason is when I get the minimum or close to the minimum, I get kind of frustrated or bummed out. So I'm waiting to do it all at once. Uh, and until I open them, I am hopefully optimistic that they contain a huge shard pull. So uh, right now it's just uh, potential. Um, once I open them, that goes away. Uh, I Probably next week, actually, at the halfway point, uh, when I do this video for next week, I'll probably open them on the video um, and then wait again till the last week to open them. Um, so that's why I haven't opened them. Uh, I did not participate in coin five. I didn't have the coin to do that. So that was a, a donut for me, big zero. Uh, coin four was uh, 27 uh, shards. And the few that we just had, I picked up 50 in that. So, so far, um, I've done everything except for coin five and gotten all the shards you could get there. Uh, I believe I missed the one bag on the Keith Lee tour. So I didn't pick up that bag. I think that's the only one I've missed so far on tours. Um, and uh, the coin event going today, the big one, on Sunday the 13th, I won't be maxing that one. That, that'll be a zero for me. Uh, next week I anticipate doing two coin events, probably the first two, um, and that's it. Um, and I will not be doing TP3. Uh, the third week of uh, Talent Point, I'm going to restock my TP supply and see if I have enough to max it on week four. Um, if not, then I'll wait until week five to max. Uh, I do want to say a few things. Um, you also can get Orton through the month long, and I'll be uh, doing a video on that one as well. Both of them I'll probably release tomorrow on uh, Monday the 14th. Uh, I'm doing much better in the keeping pace on that. Uh, those milestones, I'm ahead of pace. This one, I am behind the pace. Uh, five weeks, 2,000 shard recruit. Uh, that's 400 shards a week. And I am 100 a week off of that pace so far. Granted, I haven't opened my bag, so I could be on pace. But um, I would guess I will probably pull about 100 from those four bags. So that still puts me 100 behind pace. Um, this month looks to be hard, but so was Walter until the last week, and then it got incredibly easy. And Trish looked almost impossible until last week. It didn't necessarily get easy, but ended up getting her. So I would say to everyone, keep pushing for those shards you can get, because you don't know how the month-long contest will shake out in the end. Um, and even if you don't, if you can max the month-long, then you have a bunch of shards for training points. So that's the way I'm looking at it. I'm going to continue pursuing it like I will be able to get enough shards in the end by doing everything I can. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, find this information helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm interested to see where you guys are at. Um, so go ahead and comment up with where you're at. And remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I appreciate all the support. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.